Welcome back, everybody. Um, as you know, I promised a birthday bucket list bash uh, to-do list week. So for two weeks, I was on vacation doing a, a bucket list of all the things that I wanted to do. During these two weeks have been the most, has been the best time and also the worst time of so far of my life. <laughs> it's, it's been great, but it's been bad. During these two weeks, I experienced good things. I experienced um, doing things I've always wanted to do, like indoor skydiving, zip lining. Uh, I got to spend a little bit more time with my family. But also, I ended up um, with some bad things, such as rabies scares. Um, my eyes getting worse and possibly, and possibly a sign of me going blind. I don't know. S something like that. And also having to move across country and less in like two, max two months, less than a little over a month. So it's been, it's been, you know, not the best, but not the worst. I'm, uh, but by the time this gets out, I will already be in Los Angeles. Pray for me. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> so let's start off. Let's let's start off from the beginning. You know, before the whole uh, rabies scare and uh, getting having to move across country in like a little over a month and all the you know, negative things that happen. Let's focus on more of the positive things. Let's start on day one. So in my previous videos, some of you guys know that I was doing a bucket list, bucket, a bucket list birthday bash week where I would be taking two weeks off of work, my own leave and doing all the things I wanted to do just because I felt like doing them. During those two weeks, I went skydiving. I went zip lining. I went uh, ax throwing. I did a whole bunch of other, I did a whole bunch of things and I sent it out a, li a list of all the things. I sent out a text message to all my family members who might want to join me in those things. That way I can experience all these fun things with them. All right. Uh, it costs a lot of money and it costs a lot of time and a lot of my leave and you know, was it worth it? Uh, maybe. <laughs> so day one was zip lining. I booked a, uh, a certain time during the day of zip lining and my sister had said that she wanted to come with. So I booked a reservation for me and her. Uh, this, this is how much it cost. It costs this much. And this is just day one. Uh, also remember that I'm not a professional. I'm not some of these other YouTubers that got all this money, all this nice high tech equipment. I got this camera right here in front of me. It was a regular Canon DSLR. It's actually kind of old and I got my phone. That's it. That's all I got. I did not get a tripod. I didn't even bother with all that. I was already, um, planning and doing a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, and th things just kept getting hectic. So I just didn't even bother with the GoFundMe. I didn't even bother with getting a tripod and all that other stuff. It would cost money. It would cost time that I did not have. So these, vi though the videos might not be the best quality. So you're gonna have to excuse me for that. This is not going to be the best video quality. But, um, we're getting ready to go. Uh, it's five o'clock and we have to leave in like 30. The cats are outside. My, 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 the cats are annoying my mom. I'm dressed. I'm ready. I got my, my, 
I'm dressed. I'm ready. I'm ready to go zip lining. It's freezing outside. Alon is upstairs taking her sweet, precious time. Are you on the phone? No. I'm in full black. Good Lord, you can't even see me. I'm so dark. But it's 5 o'clock. We got to hurry up and go. I'm fully dressed in black. I'm fully dressed in black. I got my cute little footsies on. Footsies. So in order to do this uh, whole birthday bucket list bash two weeks, um, I was in Virginia. I live in Virginia, so I drove an hour all the way down to my mom's house, which is in Maryland, and that's where I stayed for the past two weeks during my uh, vacation there. Me and my sister had to get ready to go to this five o'clock appointment where we would go zip lining. It was at a it was at Adventure Park where they had all these fun zip lining. I think they also had axe throwing as well. So I'm getting ready for this day. I'm getting ready. I'm trying to record. And me and my sister had also went and got gloves as well that we didn't even need. I completely forgot that I had tons of Amazon gloves from the time I worked there in, my, in the back seat of my car. So I wasted money buying gloves that I didn't even need, which sucked. Because if I had known just how much money I was really going to be spending during these past, what, two months, I would not, I, I would, I would have very more care. I would not have even bothered. Like the amount of money that I spent during these past two months is more money than I've ever spent almost in my in my years of living at once. It was crazy. I maxed out my credit card at one time. Don't tell my mom that. <laughs> don't don't tell my mom that. And you know, my credit score might have dropped a little low because of that, but not, you know, a good 43 points, but you know, we can we can fix that. I put don't worry. I paid it all off within the next 2 days, you know. It, so, you know, you know, I I have not looked at my credit score since. Um, I'm a little scared to, so <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> so while we're so while I'm getting ready to go zip lining with my sister, I'm also uploading videos. I'm trying to stay on it, you know, trying to work hard, trying to keep the motivation, and you know, my uh, we just start goofing around. You know, my sister to hurry up. I'm talking to myself. Jeez, you already know I talk to myself. I don't know why she's surprised by that. She act like I don't talk to myself. I always talk to myself. Stop that, Lona. Okay. All right. That's good. All right. I'm talking to myself. You already know I'm talking to myself. Well, you're talking too much to yourself. Why are you so surprised by that? You act like I don't talk to myself. I'm talking to myself for years, and now you're starting to get concerned. Okay, good. All right, now do we have everything? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's go. Say bye. Say, say bye, Jeremy. Say bye. Yeah, that's right. Say bye. All right, we, we gotta go. One of the things that really bugged me is that Jeremy, he's my kitty cat. He's, he's, my, little, he's my little kitty cat, my little Jeremy Wormy. My little, my little Jeremy Wormy, my little Shmooky Boo, my little Chooka Boo. <laughs> look, look, he's, he's my cat. My cat has been staying with my mom for almost a year now. Because, you know, he was feeling very lonely and depressed and, you know, I, I live in a studio apartment, so he's very, um, so he's very cooped up there. He was just supposed to stay there until I moved out, found a bigger place and brought him with me. I was supposed to move back to Maryland, um, not too long after my, in, in like, in like May, 
My birthday's in April. I was supposed to move back to Maryland in May and find a bigger place. That way I could be closer to my family and that Jeremy could be closer to his brother and you know, everything would be good. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. And that did not happen at all. But at this point, we're kind of running late. We're running late for the zip line and I'll call, and this cost me money, all right? Ain't nobody pay this, pay all this stuff but, but, but me, all right? No, ain't nobody pay all this money but me, all right? I, I, I spent so much money and I'm cheap. I'm cheap, y'all know I'm cheap. I don't eat, I take my mom's shoes and then when those fall apart, I just sew them back together. I don't even bother getting new shoes. I ain't got time for it, I ain't got the money for it. I mean, I do, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna spend my own money. So we have to get there before they kick us out. So I booked on the cheapest day I could find that was like after hours at, and it was the cheapest thing I could find because I'm not about to spend too. I mean, I'm spending money. I'm spending a lot of money, but I don't want to spend too much money. <laughs> so we we finally get to the park. This park, this this road, all right, it's out in the woods. Okay, this road had nothing but rocks. I was so scared that my tires were gonna pop just from all the rocks on the road. I was like, please don't let my tires pop. I don't want to have to get that fixed. And I don't, I mean, I got a spare tire in the back, but I don't want to have to use it. <laughs> so we finally get to the park and, and we get signed in, we get, um, we get our tickets and everything. And we just, we, and, and I start taking videos of, of the area. If you're wondering why I'm pointing my camera down, you know, I just wanted to be respectful of all the other people there. They might not have liked being in the video or anything. So I'm really trying to get video of people not, you know, in the video. <laughs> Um, after we get checked in and everything and make sure we're all good to go and we get our tickets, the lady says like, okay, so when you go out, you can um, go out to the left where the briefing is at to make sure you know what you're doing when you get out there. And then to the right is where the bathrooms are at. So we, so when we got back out, we were like, we should go to the bathroom because you don't want to be 20 feet or higher in the air having to go to the bathroom and it does, it's not a it's not a good look you don't want to pee on somebody as they as they as they you know you want to spray down going across the place peeing on everybody that's pro I wonder if that's actually happened gosh if it has I need a video of it because it sounds funny <laughs> Funny but disgusting. But we're trying to avoid that. So we're like, yeah, let's go to the bathrooms. Let's go to the little outhouses. And I was like, and I said, you know, the house out the outhouses may not be that bad. You still wanna go? That might be cleaner than usual outhouses. I don't know why I thought the outhouses were gonna be clean, because they weren't. When is an outhouse ever clean? I'm not going in there. <laughs> so in the outhouse, they had like this little hand sanitizer thing and like, you know, a little, a little, the little portable pull up, you know, air freshener so it wouldn't smell bad. And it was already outside. So technically it didn't, I don't think it actually smelled bad. I can't really remember. So I guess the air freshener was doing its job, but it was still an outhouse. I can still see other people's poo. I don't know how to f uh, okay uh oh gosh i can see people's poop <laughs> i can see people's poop in here alana can you see people's poop yeah, she said yes also i didn't i didn't i was really skeptical 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 <laughs> about recording in the bathroom because i was like if i drop my phone that's it i'm not picking it back up if it falls in that toilet, that's it, it's gone. On the bright side, my hands smelt amazing. They smelt really good when, when we washed. I don't know what it was. That big giant sink they had, it was, it was, it, I don't know what type of soap they were using, but I need that soap. 
So after we finish going to the bathroom, we go to the briefing where there were like a little bunch of seats and a big television. And it was like a little briefing, like how to zip on and thing. And at first it seemed complicated because I zoom, I, I, I zoomed out of it. I just blanked out after the first like two or three minutes and it was a 10 minute video. But once you actually do it, it's really not that complicated. <laughs> they helped us put on the suits and then after that, we went over to like a little tiny mini zip lining course where, you know, they would they would show you how to like put on the like hook and everything and then just zoom across it. And during this little mini course is where I realized that if I'm zooming across the sky, how am I going to record? Because I need my phone out to record and I need my hands to have my phone out to record. So this is when I'm like, I need to get creative. At first I just started shoving my, my phone inside my shirt and try to do it like this, but that didn't really work. <laughs> So after we finish doing the mini course, we actually, everybody goes up into this like little central um, uh, entrance where this central entrance leads to all the courses of the zip lining stuff and climbing and everything. All right. And we were high in those trees. We, we, we were, we, we were at least a good 20, 20 feet. We, they put us high up. Like for the most part, it's like in the middle, but it's actually really high up. And later when it started to get more darker, the lights came on and the lights made everything uh, very pretty. I don't know what happened with my phone. I don't know if it was getting like smudged from being in my chest and trying to figure out how to record, but the video quality just kind of goes down a little from here. All right. I think my phone needs light to like actually take a good video because <laughs> it because it, it it just did it just didn't work out too well when the lights when the, when it got dark we're having a good time you know it's very pretty out the lights are out it's dark but it's not too dark where you can't see nothing but um at some point i i, I on one of the zip lines going down i go down you know i hook myself up and everything and i go down and I go backwards, <laughs> like I got stuck. Like this is like 20 feet in the air, hanging on nothing but, ro there's nothing on the bottom of it. It's, it's your body just hanging in the air, attached to like a little strip cord. And I got stuck in the middle, 20 feet up in the air. And my sister was like, are you stuck? And I was like, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Dang it. No, I shouldn't be. Gosh dang it. And then one of the guys, one of the guys down below or in, or in the trees or somewhere, uh, uh, all the other way over on the other, uh, on the other side of the park saw me just hanging there. Hey, yo, somebody's stuck. I was like, no, I'm not stuck. <laughs> I'm not stuck. Yo, she's stuck up there. I'm not stuck. I'm not, I'm not stuck. I did not want an employee having to come over and try to grab me and get me dead. I didn't want that. So, you know, I just take the line and I kind of just start <laughs> pulling myself, my body over to the other side. Ooh, that's a dance. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Did you see that lawn? I almost got stuck. <laughs> okay. Here I go. This is very pretty, by the way.
fauna. Don't scare me like that. So it's almost 10 o'clock at night. The park is about to get shut down after a few more courses that we were, uh, that we did. And so we do like the, like one of the highest courses. We do the highest course. And at the end of this course, we did not realize that there was no zip line to get down to the ground. Instead, what you had to do is you had to zip line to here and there was like some type of mechanical thing where it would like just let you fall down to the ground. You literally had to fall. Everyone's done. It's, it's time to go home and we get un we get unsuited up. We head down to Chipotle and get me, my mom, and my sister all something to eat. We go home, pet the cats, and I relax in a little bit and start to um and start to work on some other projects. Like, just because it was my vacation didn't mean that I still was not working. I was still working and doing a whole bunch of other stuff during this vacation. Like, I, I had no, like, it was just a vacation from work, from, from, from my day job. My other, my other projects and works that I had to do, I was still doing. This was just the first day of a lot of uncertainties, a lot of suspense, a lot of scariness and a lot of possible you could be dying and you could be dying in the next and you could be dead within the next couple of months cuz later on during these 2 weeks i then had to move across country get a letter from the department of health saying that i had i i could have rabies and also having to cancel my own dinner party. <laughs> so this, so it's, so it's, 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 so more on that in the next videos. And I'm going to try to post more videos, but guys, I'm moving across the country. I, I'm Maryland. I'm moving to Los Angeles in less than like a month, a little over a month. I've never been stressed out and I feel and I still don't feel stressed because I'm just really good at planning stuff but I am definitely nervous <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the video um uh this, these videos might be a little sparse because you know I'm moving <laughs> a very far away and I still have to pack up everything so bear with me